Okay, so we're going to do this question. It is titled on my view, at least, exercise 24.17. It's basically this question. It gives us this drawing of a little circuits, and it has some series, some parallel. And it asks us, basically, all the questions are asking for either the charges of the capacitors or the potential difference at a spot. Um, and it gives us this very nice information of each capacitor has C equals 4.4 microfarad. And then the voltage A to B. So the overall is 35 volts. So let's go ahead and start. And instead of going part by part to solve it, we're basically just going to solve everything we can and you'll go and plug in your answers at the very end. And that's going to be a much more basic way to do this. So like it tells us, every single capacitor has the same charge. So C1 equal to C2 and blah, blah, blah. And that is all equal to 4.4 times 10 to the negative 6. Make sure you watch your units. So first thing we're going to do is look at the capacitance across all of that. We're going to want to get the capacitors between C1 and C2 and then from C1 to C2 and C3 and then all of four of them. So let's look at C1 and C2 first. These are in series. So capacitance in series is an inverse relation. 1 over C1 plus 1 over 2, and that's going to equal. And like we know, the capacitors that give us so C1, 2 is equal to 2.2 times 10 to the negative 6. Now we're going to look at the capacitors between C1, 2 and C3. Because this C1, 2 is basically like a single capacitor right in between those. Now C1, 2 and C3 are related in parallel. So capacitance for C13 is going to be very simply C12 plus C3, which equals 2.2 times 10 to the negative 6 plus 4.4 times, times, times 10 to the negative 6, which equals 6.6 .6 times 10 to the negative 6. And finally, we're going to look at C1234. So these are series even though they're next to each other it is one wire so c123 is related to c4 in a series so we're going back to the inverse so 1 over c1234 is equal to 1 over c123 plus 1 over c4 which is equal to 1 over 2.2 times 10 to the negative 6 plus 1 over 4.4 times 10 to the negative 6 and so c1234 equals equals 2.64 times 10 to the negative 6. Okay, so now that we have all our capacitance and we know it from 1, 2, 3, 4, we're going to look at this voltage that it gives us. Now it says the voltage from A to B is 35. So voltage A to B is equal to 35 volts. I'm just going to go ahead and call this voltage 1, 2, 3, 4 because that's the voltage across all of them, right? And now we're going to look at this equation. Q equals CB. So if we're trying to find Q of 1, 2, 3, 4, we already have C1, 2, 3, 4 and V1, 2, 3, 4. So we can easily plug those in. 2.64 times 10 to the negative 6 times 35 volts. And we get 9.24 times 10 to the negative 5 coulombs. And that is the overall charge on this entire thing. Now, the overall charge is this whole thing. So that's going to be equal to basically C4, C4 and, or Q, Q4 and Q123 because these are in a series. And in a series, charge is always equal. So Q1234 equals Q4, which is equal to Q123 is in a series. Charge is always equal, which once again is 9.24 times 10 to the negative fifth. Coulombs. And we have this Q equals CV. We can rearrange that very easily. Over C. So now we're going to start with charges because we know Q equals 1, 2, 3. So we also know C of 1, 2, 3 is 6.6 .6 times 10 to the negative 6. So V of 1, 2, 3 equals. 9.24 times 10 to the negative fifth over 
6.6 .6 times 10 to the negative 6, which is equal to 14 volts. Remember, that is the voltage in this entire thing right here. One, two, three. Okay, now we're going to try to find V4. So V4 equals Q4 over C4, which we have both of these values. So 9.24 times 10 to the negative fifth over 4.4 times 10 to the negative sixth equal to 21 volts. And that, I think, is actually one of the specific questions that you will eventually need to find. So now we know V123. And these are going to be equal to V12, which is equal to V3. Because in parallel, voltage is equal across everything. So you know that those are all going to be equal to volts. So once again, these are all equal because they are in parallel and voltage is equal across parallel. So now that we have V3, we can go ahead and try finding Q3. So Q3 is equal to C3 times V3, which is equal to 4.4 times 10 to the negative 6 times 14, which when we saw that out is 6.16 times 10 to the negative 5th coulombs. And we know Q12 is equal to C12 times V12, which as we just found, or we found C12 earlier, is 2.2 times 10 to the negative 6. We just found V12 is 14. Go ahead and solve that, and you get 3.08 times 10 to the negative 5th coulombs. We're almost done here. You know that Q12 is equal to Q1, which is equal to Q3, because Q1 and 2 are both in a series, and across series, charge is equal. C1 and 2 are equal, and they are also equal to their, oops, that's a 2, to their combined ones. Once again, 3.0 times 10 to the negative 5th coulombs, just to go ahead and rewrite that. And the last things we need to find are the voltage 1 and 2. So V1 is equal to Q1 over C1, which is equal to 3.08 times 10 to the negative fifth over 4.4 times 10 to the negative sixth, which is 7 volts. And V2 is equal to Q2 over C2, which is equal to 3.08 times 10 to the negative fifth, also over 4.4 times 10 to the negative sixth. So those are actually the same, the voltage in that series. And that is everything basically that you have to do to get all of these answers. So most of them are very direct. The last one is what is the potential difference between well, um, points A and D? So from here to here. So that's basically looking at the voltage in one, two, and three, which we did go ahead and find earlier. That's the only one that's not as easy, but it is voltage one, two, three, and that's 14 volts. So that's your last one and yep. It's the whole thing. It's a very long one.